plug in the power adapter's male plug into the wall socket. Plug in the DC jack into the printer's power input socket. Turn on the wall power supply. Switch on the power switch of the printer. The printer comes on. Power on the printer. The display will show some messages while the printer initializes. The printer then prompts for a user ID. Key in 1 for manager. Press enter. You are now prompted for the password. Key in 0000 for the password. Press enter. The printer now prompts for a UDF number. Squeeze the sides of the top paper cover panel and lift up the paper roll stand gently. Unpack the paper roll and insert the plastic rod inside the paper roll and fix the paper roll stand in the printer. With the paper feeding from the bottom and facing towards the front, insert the post onto the slots on the side. Feed the paper into the slot. The paper should automatically be pulled in by the printer. For the BP85 thermal, simply insert the paper through the slot. Shut the top flap by pressing down. While the printer is switched off, hold down paper feed button. Now power on the printer and leave the paper feed button. The printer sounds one beep followed by two beeps and then prints a self-test report. In this self-test, we can see the firmware details including version with date of release, current settings in the printer, demo of bill and different reports printing. To operate the printer and perform normal billing operations, first we need to enter new items into our database. Press menu. Reports is displayed. Press down arrow. Item database is displayed. Press enter. Edit database is displayed. Press the down arrow. Add new item is displayed. Press enter. The printer prompts for the item name. Type in an item name. In our example, we type in rice. Press enter. The printer prompts to choose a type of unit for measure. The choices are packet, liter, milliliter, gram and kilogram. The keypad choices are packet 1, liter 2, milliliter 3, gram 4 and kilogram 5. Key in the appropriate choice by pressing the correct number. In our case it is 5 for kilogram. So press 5 on the keypad. Then press enter. The printer now prompts for an item rate 1. Enter a rate for the first slab, say 50 rupees. Key in 5, 0 on the keypad. Press enter. The printer now prompts for an item rate 2. You may leave this blank by simply pressing enter. Repeat the process when prompted for item rate 3. The printer now prompts for a VAT percentage. Enter a value or leave it blank. We key in 5 to add 5% VAT automatically. Press enter. The printer now prompts for a discount percentage. Enter a value or leave it blank. Press enter. The printer now gives a choice of either entering a new item or completing the entry operation. Next item, enter, cancel is now displayed. Press 
enter for the next item. Enter the details of another item in the same manner as shown now. When done, press the cancel button to complete the entry operation. Press enter. The printer saves all the entries to the database and then reinitializes. The BP85 allows the user to print a header and a footer for every bill. This is useful for printing the name of the establishment and other data and greetings. Up to 10 lines of header are supported. In this demo, we shall use only two lines. Press Menu. Press the down arrow four times. Header footer is displayed. To select, press enter. Edit header is displayed. Press enter. The header positioning options are provided. Use arrow keys to scroll and access the options. Left justify, center justify, right justify. We choose center justify. Press enter. The font parameters for the first line of the header are presented. Scroll through the options using the arrow keys. The options are normal, bold, underline, double width, bold and underline, bold and double width, double width and underline, bold and double width and underline. In our demo, we choose the last option. Press enter. The printer displays line number one, prompting us to enter the first line of the header. In our demo, we key in kebab corner. Press enter. The font parameters for the next line of the header are presented. In our demo, we press enter to choose normal. The printer displays line number 2, prompting us to enter the second line of the header. Key in line 2. We key in Bengaluru. Press enter. When the font parameters for the next line are presented, press cancel to complete this operation. The printer displays two options. Save, enter and exit cancel. Press enter to save the header. Up to five lines of footer can be printed on the BP85. This is useful for greetings or a thank you and so on. To set up the footer, press menu. Press the down arrow four times. Header footer is displayed. To select, press enter. Edit header is displayed. Use the down arrow key to scroll down to the edit footer option. Press enter. The footer positioning options are provided. Use the arrow keys to scroll and access the options. Left justify, center justify, right justify. We choose Center Justify. Press Enter. The font parameters for the first line of the footer are now presented. Scroll through the options using the arrow keys. The options are Normal, Bold, Underline, Double Width, Bold and Underline, Bold and Double Width, Double Width and Underline, bold and double width and underline. In our demo, we choose bold. Press enter. The printer displays line number one, prompting us to enter the first line of the footer. In our demo, we key in thank you. Press enter. 
the font parameters for the next line of the header are presented. In our demo, we press cancel to complete the operation. The printer displays two options. Save, Enter, Exit, Cancel. Press Enter to save the footer. A bill printed with both the header and footer will contain the entered text. Once items have been entered into the database of the printer, the printer will be in billing mode once a user has logged in. In our demo, we use user ID 1 for manager to log in and perform operations. Also for this demo, keep in mind that the KOT option is enabled. Power on the printer. Enter 1 for user ID. Press Enter. Enter four zeros for the password, the default password for manager. Press Enter. The printer prompts for UDF number. Enter a UDF, say 55. Press Enter. The printer prompts for an item number. Enter the item number. In this demo, we key in 1 for rice. Then press Enter. Enter the quantity, say 2. Note that for rice, we have earlier chosen kilogram as the unit. So kilogram and the rate per kilogram are displayed. Press Enter. The printer now prompts for the next item and displays the total till now. After adding the VAT and deducting the discount. Enter the next item, say number 2, which stands for coffee in our demo. Press Enter. Enter the quantity, say one unit. Press Enter. Again, the printer prompts for the next item and displays the total amount. If this bill is complete, we should be able to print now. While the printer prompts for the next item, press print. If the KOT option is enabled, three choices are provided. KOT to print the KOT, bill to print the bill and save KOT. If you wish to print the bill, press 2 on the keypad and the bill is immediately printed. It is quite likely that during normal operations, it will not be possible to remember all items by their item numbers. So the BP85 also provides an alphabetical search and entry mode. When the printer prompts for the item number, press enter. The printer now displays names of items starting with the item number 1. But say we wish to enter vegetable oil. Press V on the keypad. Vegetable oil is displayed. Press enter. There could be more than one item starting with the same letter. To access an item such as carrot, press the letter C to enter alphabetical search mode. The printer will display the first item entered in the database starting with C, which in our demo is coffee. Now to access carrot, press the up or down arrow repeatedly till you see carrot. Now press enter. If you will need to look through the items during the billing process, after adding a few items, you can use the up and down arrows to browse through the items. In this demo, we have already added a few items in the bill. Now after adding an item and keying in the quantity, press the up arrow to scroll through and view previous items. To cancel one item, for example coffee, scroll to coffee with the up arrow. Press enter. 
Now press cancel. It prompts, are you sure? Enter, cancel. Press enter to cancel. The item is removed. To complete the billing, press cancel. Press print. Press 2 to print the bill.